Hello mga ka-mathmates! Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the post notification bell right over there. Welcome to another episode of Challenging, Exciting, Fun, and Interesting Math Lessons. This is Sir Oliver, your cool math teacher for today. Our topic is all about What you will learn today, state and illustrate the different properties of the operations on integers. We will be focusing on addition and subtraction. There are properties of integers which determine its operations. These properties help us solve many equations. So that's why it is very important to learn the basic or the concepts of properties of integers because it is very applicable in different uh, solving of equations. To recall, integers are any positive or negative numbers including zero which, which can be represented by letter Z. So this will be the sets of an integers. So a negative, zero, and a positive numbers. So the integer properties will help you simplify and solve a series of integers easily. So we have the properties of integers, addition and subtraction. So we have the closure property. So what are those properties that we will be discussing? Associative property. We have commutative property. We have the identity property. We have the inverse property and last but not the least, distributive property. So we will be defining each property. I will be giving the symbol and illustrative example for you to vet better understand what each property means. So remember the six properties under addition and subtraction. Again, these properties are very helpful in, so, um, in solving such equations. Kaya dapat alam natin yung mga property na ginagamit natin. So, a property is a mathematics rule. So, ito pala yung rule na sinusunod. That is always true or tama or proven. So, we need to observe the following example. So, let us discuss each property under addition and subtraction. The first one is closure property. Definition, closure property under addition and subtraction states that the sum or difference of any two integers is also an integer. So, ano ang ibig sabihin nun? So, ilalagay natin itong definition into symbol para mas maunawaan ang ibig sabihin ng closure property. If A and B are integers, then A plus B is an integer and A minus B is an integer. So, gumamit tayo dito ng variable na A and B. Wherein, kapag pinag-add mo daw yung dalawang integer, ang sagot ay integer. Kapag pinag-subtract mo daw yung dalawang integer, ang sagot ay Integer. So, yun yung ibig sabihin ng closure property. Example, 7 plus 8 equals to 15. So, yung dalawang pinag-add mo ay integer, ang sagot din ay integer. So, yun po yung ibig sabihin ng closure property. So, that is A plus B equals the answer or sum which is an integer. Another example, positive 16 plus negative 7, both are integers, the answer is also integer. Adding both negatives, the answer is an integer, which is a negative integer. For the last example, 7 minus 8, the answer is also an integer. So that is under closure property. Two. Associative property. Definition, associative property of addition states that if three integers are added, it makes no difference whether which two are added first. So meaning there is 
an association of integers. So, meron kang tatlong integers na iaad mo. And then, there is no difference the whether which two are added first. So, to better understand in symbols, if A, B, or C are integers, then A plus B, the quantity of A plus B plus C equals A plus the quantity B plus C. Kung mapapansin, ang una mo nang i-add ay yung A plus B tapos yung sa may i-add sa C ay similar daw kapag in mo yung A sa sum ng B plus C. So, titignan natin if it is true based doon sa ating example. Yung associative property. Halimbawa, 9 plus 6 plus 2 so, una mo nang inad yung 9 plus 6. Ta tapos yung sum, which is yung 15, ay inad sa 2, kaya naging 17. On the other hand, 9 plus 6 plus 2, una mo nang inad yung dalawang number sa dudo, which is yung 6 plus 2. And the sum is 8, tapos yung sum na 8 ay inad sa 9, the sum is 17. So, therefore, 17 is equal to 17. Another example, negative 8 plus 4 plus 7. So, negative 8 plus 4 is negative, negative 4 plus 7 is positive 3. On the other hand, negative 8 plus 4 plus 7. So, inuna muna yung 4 plus 7 which is 11. So, yung sum na 11 ay inad sa negative 8. The answer is positive 3. So, that is associative property. So, kahit anong dalawa mo nang iad mo, tapos iaad mo ulit dun sa pangatlo, parehas pa rin yung makukuha yung answer. So, take note, subtraction is not associative in nature. Bakit kaya nasabi? If A, B, and C are integers, then A minus the quantity of B minus C ay hindi daw equal sa quantity ng A minus B minus C. Probably because it might change the sign unlike in addition. So, di ba, iba yung rules ng subtracting an integers which I discussed on my last video. So, sa example natin, kapag sinubtract natin yung magkabilang side ay hindi tayo makakuha ng parehas ng sagot. So, therefore, it is not applicable in sub uh, subtraction. Okay? Next, commutative property. Number three. Definition, commutative property of addition states that two integers can be added in any order. Again, so, kahit ano daw order, i-add siya, parehas pa rin yung answer. Halimbawa, if A and B are integers, then A plus B is equal to B plus A. So, kahit ano daw mauna, it's either A or B, parehas pa din yung magiging answer. So, let us prove by giving an illustrative example kung tama na kapag binagbaliktad natin, uh, we will get the same answer. Example 1, 12 plus plus 6 is 18. So, ganun din naman ang 6 plus 12. Ang sagot pa rin ay 18. So, that is commutative property. Another example, both negatives will be added. Negative 6 plus negative 3 is negative 9. That is equal when you add negative 3 and negative 6. So, you will get negative 9. But in subtraction, commutative uh, subtraction is not commutative for integers. If A and B are integers, then A minus B is not equal to B minus A. So, probably, again, it might change the sign or the answer. Hindi pala applicable ang commutative property kapag binaliktad. Example, 12 minus 6 is positive 6. Pero kapag binaliktad na na 6 minus 12, the answer is negative 6. And positive 6 is not equal to negative 6. So, yun yung sa commutative property. Four, identity property. Definition, identity property of addition states that any integer added to the identity element zero, again, the identity element is zero, will remain unchanged. Hindi daw magbabago. Zero is the identity element of addition. In symbols, if A is an integer, then A plus zero equals to A 
or 0 Sorry, a plus 0 equals to a or 0 plus a equals to a. So, any number added to 0, the answer is an integer. Example 1, 39 plus 0, the answer is 39. Or 0 plus 39, the answer is 39. So, that is for identity. How about inverse property? Inverse property of addition states that the sum of an integer and its additive inverse, or the opposite, is the identity element 0. For example, a and negative a are additive inverses. Kapag pinag-add, the answer is 0. a plus negative a is 0, or negative a plus a ay 0. Basta kabalik taran niya, when in terms assign, the answer is an identity element which is 0. Example, 6, the additive inverse is negative 6. You just add the 2, the answer is 0. Or negative 6, the additive inverse is positive 6, the answer is 0. So that is the inverse property. Again, kapag kinuha ang additive inverses of one another, the answer is identity element which is zero so let's move to the last property which is the distributive property so the definition is distributive property of multiplication over addition or subtraction states that multiplication distributes over addition or subtraction so from the word distribute so in symbols if a b and c are integers then a times the quantity b plus c so just distribute a parang it's just like it is the common factor so magiging a times b plus a times c so distribute natin yung a or a times b minus c that is a times b minus a times c so we just distribute yung a doon sa doob ng parentheses example 5 times the quantity 6 plus 12. So, we just distribute 5 times 6 plus 5 times 12. So, that's how we distribute the given. And then, another example, negative 7 times the quantity 9 minus 4. That is negative 7 times 9 minus negative 7 times 4. So, I hope na na-master nyo yung iba't ibang properties of integers under addition and subtraction para masagutan nyo yung ating activity na ni-prepare ko para sa inyo. So, I want you to get a piece of paper or your notebook and answer our activity.
So that's all for our video. I hope that you learned something. In learning mathematics, two important things that you need to remember, focus and practice. See you on my next video. Thanks for watching.